Hey everyone, and welcome to Kaizen Debates number 40, Censoring School Newspapers. And here's our question for debate. Should school newspapers be censored? In schools all across the country, teachers and principals regularly censor school newspapers. Do you think this is fair? Before we begin our discussion, Let's learn a few of the words you will hear throughout the debate. Conclusive. Conclusive is an adjective that means provides information that allows a conclusion to be made. Inconsistent. Inconsistent is an adjective that means to not follow along, to be contrary to. Supervise. Supervise is a verb that means to oversee. And now, back to our debate. Should school newspapers be censored? Picture this. You're working on a story for your school newspaper. You've done lots of research, conducted interviews, and dug up all the right information. After lots of careful analysis, you finally come up with conclusive proof. The cafeteria food is terrible. But just as you're about to publish your article, the principal steps in. He says that you can't run the piece. Why? Because he thinks it makes the school look bad. Is this fair? Many people say it is. They say school newspapers are different from real newspapers and that teachers have a responsibility to supervise them. The Supreme Court agrees. In 1988, it said, a school need not tolerate student speech that is inconsistent with its basic educational mission. Still, Lots of people disagree with this. They say that censorship is always wrong, even in the case of a school newspaper. But what do you think? Should school officials censor school newspapers? Let's hear the affirmative position. The yes. Student journalists need guidance. They don't have enough experience to be in charge of a newspaper all by themselves. They could say things that are offensive or mean. Worse, they could write something that is false. If this happens and the story hurts someone, the school will be sued, not the reporter. School newspapers are not the same as real newspapers. Let's hear the negative position, the no. Principals and teachers have no right to censor school newspapers, one of the few places kids have to voice their opinions. If you censor the newspaper, you tell kids they have no right to express opinions. Anyway, the main reason schools censor their newspapers is because they have something to hide. With censorship, schools can do whatever they want. A free press holds people responsible for their actions. And now it's your turn. Consider both sides. Why might some people want school papers censored? Why would others be against it? And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in our next Kaizen debate. Bye bye!